So, and this has been discussed, not a lot, but I'm going to talk about it because nobody here around here is going to talk about it because they all have self-interest. Um, NFL playoffs begin tomorrow. And there's a day game, a uh, one o'clock game, and then they have a game at night at like around five o'clock. Um, Kansas City is home to the Miami Dolphins. Okay. If you're in the Bay Area, you have to pay, I think it's like about 10 bucks, something like that, seven, 10, 11, 90. I don't know what it is, but you have to pay. Uh, to watch that game. It's on Peacock, which is a streaming channel owned by NBC. Now, look, I am all for capitalism. I'm not anti-capitalism and all that. I am pissed off because I know a lot of people, and it's not just in the Bay Area, it's all around the country. Indeed, probably well, the, the world. The only people that get to watch the NFL game the second game on Saturday night where it's supposed to be like 30 below and maybe snow and, you know, it's a good game. NFL, Miami, Kansas City, games in Kansas City are if you live in Kansas City or Miami, you get, you're the home markets uh, and, and also the visiting. So those two teams markets get the game for free over the air television. Other than that, you got to buy Peacock. And it's a marketing gimmick. It, it's also fucking greed, NFL. And the NFL, you know, makes like $10 billion a year. The NFL is swimming in cash. And there are a lot of people out there, lots of people, who could they afford it? Probably. There are a lot of people that are having a, a, a real tough time and have to budget and prioritize their their, their, you know, where their money goes and they can't buy this game or they could, but there are some people that really can't afford it and, and don't have the means to get the game. And I am so fucking sick and tired of the NFL and it's greed. It's out and out greed. And you know, what bothers me even worse is the fact that the NFL's partners, ESPN, and various radio stations that are part of Westwood One, that are part of the NFL, they've said nothing about this bullshit. Um, there used to be a guy in New York, Mike Francesa, big time New York talk show host, right? He came out and ripped the NFL. Good for Mike Francesa. And, and there's a couple of other pundits whose name escapes me. But most of the punditry, they haven't said anything about this. Because there's so much nose up their asses of the NFL that they don't want to piss off the NFL or they don't want to piss off their affiliates and all that. And the people get screwed. Again, they get screwed. And again, at what point, it, it, on and on and on and on and on about greed and about the fact that enough money, uh, it's, it's obscene what the NFL is doing. It's obscene that these affiliates don't say anything about this, that don't rip into the NFL as they should, and Roger Goodell, the commissioner. Now, I don't, look, Peacock, they're trying, they sign an agreement, they want to make money, great, they're going to make money. And the NFL owners who, you know, they're, they're really poor, they can't get by. On, on the hundreds of millions of dollars that they make. They have to make more money. And basically what it comes down to is the NFL is like a whore. Not like they are a whore. Anything that they can make a buck, they will do so. And now there's even talk. It's, mark my words, it's going to happen eventually to a point where the Super Bowl won't be free going to charge for the Super Bowl. You may think, nah, oh, you watch. What is it, 100? Let's say the NFL charged a dollar, a dollar. And they're not going to charge a dollar, but let's just say a buck. What does the Super Bowl get, 120 million people worldwide? 
So just on a dollar alone, they make $120 million, right? You want to know why some of these players, all these players are pissed at the NFL? They risk their body and indeed their life to play that game. And, and they're asking for every goddamn dollar that they're entitled to because unlike NFL owners, they put their heart, their soul, their bodies, their lives out there. So you eventually, it's going to happen. Maybe not in my lifetime or yours. The Super Bowl, they're going to charge 10 bucks or something like that. Because why? Because they want to whore their product and make money. Enough is not enough for the NFL. Corporate assholes and the greed. And it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. And the fact that you don't hear sports stations or television stations or ESPN or Fox rip into the NFL. Why? Because they have relationships with the NFL. And the NFL is king. So they don't want to piss off the NFL. Again, this is just out and out thievery. And you want to talk about something Congress should get involved in. This is what they should get involved in. Because it, 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 there are people, again, who want to just watch the game. You know, they have limited means of income. They, they, it's their entertainment. You know, and they want to watch the game. And now they have to fork over money just to get a game, a playoff game. Because the NFL, again, are hoes. Whores and hoes and greedy sons of bitches.